Look at the size of these things, like big night crawlers. All fat and healthy. G'day worm wranglers, Marty we're here from Marty's Garden, your happy worm farmer. Yep, we're here in the studio, got the worm farms cranking here, well there's one here, and then I've got a few outside as well that I haven't really mentioned much about because they're under trial and I just really haven't had time to film everything. Now these are farms that are underneath an enclosed area straight behind the light here. Now hopefully I can get a whole lot of farms out onto this veranda area because in the summer actually the sun's right above and in the winter it's coming in. It's the perfect spot for me to worm farm but I've never really done tray worm farming like this. Now this one's still empty. If you've been watching the video, this one, the vlog, this one is full but we're not going to show you in there today. We're going to do that in the updates in the vlogs. Now, why is this spot so special and why are they doing so good? Well, it's mostly the night crawlers, right? Africans and Euros. There's another mix of them going nuts in there too, but they're feeding hard on that carbon material and the compost in there. And there's a bit of mix of fibre stuff. I'm throwing in a bit of food occasionally, a bit of rice and some scraps and stuff. But I'm not going too hard on the feeding. They're mostly just feeding on that bacteria that's setting itself around the edges of the egg carton cardboard and the compost bedding. And look, I thought that maybe they would sort of back off a bit, but man, they're big, they're getting really fat, and they're hungry, my friends. So they are absolutely just loving it in there. So if you've got a spot in winter to keep your worms warm, put it under a shelter, morning sun, don't give them any afternoon sun if you can, because it'll still stay hot through the day, through the rest of the day and into the night and sort of will cool off through the evening and then it'll get warm again. And if you've got it underneath sort of like dropping cold air, um, that keeps them warm as well. And just keep them out of any sort of breezes and things. So yeah, try the coffee cardboard, coat your cardboard in some worm cast or coat it in some compost, some nitrogen material. I did mine in coffee grounds and believe it or not, I must have just set all that sort of like material off and it's worked way better than expected. Big, thick, fat worms. Just going ballistic, guys. All right, keep an eye on the video. Hopefully you got a few tips from the vlog and we'll see you at the next one real soon. Bye for now. Whew.